Hi, I'm Jamie Palmer, online business coach and simplifier for entrepreneurs, course creators, and service providers. I am the creator of the Business Ecosystem Builders program where I help entrepreneurs like you grow and scale their business online so that they have more freedom in their lives. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to come up with endless ideas for your content. Thank you so much for tuning in. I super appreciate you being here. And if you want more online marketing and business tips, be sure to hit the subscribe button below because we put out new videos each and every Tuesday. So coming up with creative ideas can be a really daunting process when it comes to your content marketing. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to share with you my four step process for how I've been able to generate consistently for the last 17 years endless content ideas. And so much so that I actually won a Google eCity of the Year award for all of the different content ideas that I've come up with. And if you stay all the way to the end, I'm going to share with you a fifth way in case of an emergency and you've run out of ideas. So stay tuned. So the first way in which that I come up with endless content ideas is research, okay? So when you think about research, I think that's digging into Facebook groups and seeing what people are posting on. That's going on Reddit to see what questions are being asked breaking through Medium and LinkedIn and just seeing like what is happening and what questions your ideal client is asking in their community. And perhaps it's in the form of a question, but it could also be in the form of a story where your ideal client would be saying something like, I've been doing X and I've really been struggling with blah, blah, blah. And I don't know how to solve that. So research is always my first place where I go to try and find ideas because in that research, anytime there's a story or a question, you can take that and flip it into a piece of content, right? And so that's something that I'm always on the lookout for. Now you can be intentional about it and say, all right, I'm going to go spend 30 minutes doing research or as you're browsing the internet, you can kind of keep your notebook by your side and write down those ideas kind of as you see them. That's what I like to do. I have a notebook specifically for content ideas and I can just go through there and be like, yep, 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 write these ideas down as I see them. So start to become aware of all the content that you're consuming and see if you can turn a question or a story into a piece of blog or podcast or social media content. The second way in which I come up with endless content ideas is questions. Now I'm talking about questions from prospects and from clients. And again, I take my handy dandy notebook and anytime a client asks me a question, I'm always asking myself, how can I turn this into a piece of content that can help somebody else answer that question? And here's the thing, when you think about how a client is asking a question or a prospect is asking a question. If there's one, there's two people with that question. And if there's two, there's many. So think about all the different ways in which you could potentially answer that question, as well as what are the kind of like ancillary topics you could create from that question. So maybe something that happens before or after, or what's a process that you could share around that question that, that is being asked of you and flip that into content. I'd love for you to share with me in the comments how you've been coming up with your content ideas in your business. The third way in which I come up with endless content ideas is just ideas from my brain. <laughs> um, I often find that after working out or exercising um, or on a walk, out in nature, I come up with a lot of ideas. And so I'm constantly trying to keep a bank of ideas. And again, I can grab my handy dandy notebook and I write down all those ideas. Now, every idea doesn't actually come into fruition. However, when you think about your expertise, think about how you could show value and deliver value around that. And when you think about that, you then can really easily and seamlessly come up 
with lots of content ideas. So I'll use myself as an example. In my Business Ecosystem Builders program, there's different phases and processes that we take people through. And so I've created a whole podcast series where I talk about each of the different phases and then each of the different elements that fall within each phase from a 30,000 foot view. So if you have any IP or any process or step-by-step -step thing that you could do, you can take that and from a high level, turn it into that value-driven content that you can then share on social media. The fourth way I come up with content ideas is through current events. So what do I mean by current events? Like what is going on in your industry that you could speak to about? Um, are there any new features? Are there any new happenings? Are there changes to something that's going on? That is a great way if you're feeling really stuck to then be able to speak to that, give your opinion, share your feedback, teach somebody something new. Uh, for me, an example would be Canvas constantly changing. So I always like doing like, here's an update with all the new Canva features. And so when you can think about your industry and how you interact with that, there's a plethora of ideas that you could pull from current events. So I highly recommend incorporating some of that into your content ideas. Now, the fifth and final bonus way in which I come up with endless content ideas is Answer the Public. And Answer the Public is basically a collection of all the Google searches. So you put in your topic and it will come up with a whole bunch of ideas. So I'm gonna show you how that works right now because it's a super powerful tool when you are feeling really stuck with your content ideas. So I'm just gonna give you a quick walkthrough of this answer the public. It is super helpful for when you've like completely run out of ideas and you're just not sure what to do for content. So I'm gonna use social media marketing here as an example, but you could put in any topic, any brand, any product, any anything here. Now it is limited in the free version, but you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about here. So I'm just gonna hit the search button. And it shows 360 topics here. So as you can see, it gives you all of these different ideas around topics that you could create when it comes to your content. Um, and as you can see, like, how does social media marketing work? How can social media help businesses? And then you could go through and do like, how much does it cost to hire a social media marketer? And literally there are just like, there's so many options in here for you in terms of content. So this is a great tool when you're like, OMG, I've run out of ideas and how can I, come up with something that isn't going to make me bonkers. <laughs> um, so I totally use this when I run out of ideas. You can do two searches a day on the free version. Um, and it's just a really cool tool. Are you wondering why your social media isn't working for you? Are you hearing crickets every single time that you post? Well, it might be time to get a social media snapshot. For only $47, you'll get a three-page custom-to-you snapshot with a list of ideas, action items, ways to improve your social media and marketing, and a list of content topics that you could speak about in your social media. They're only 47 bucks, and they are super duper powerful. It's like a mini strategy. So head on over to socialmediasnapshot.com and grab yours today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I so love that you're here. And one way you can let me know that you are enjoying this content is to like it, comment, and share it with a business bestie. And next week, we're gonna be talking all about how to batch create content. So stay tuned.